If you don't know who you are, you will accept less than you deserve. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never be satisfied with what you got because the, the attempt to get more makes you into something better. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. You got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else, you clap for everybody else, you support everybody else, you baking cakes and making cookies for everybody else. But when are you gonna look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. There ain't nothing you can do about what's gonna happen to you. You can't stop life from happening. Do things that you have to push mentally through. And if you do those things and you continue to do those things, you'll get mentally stronger. The scary thing is, when you give up, when you don't push, when you stay in bed, you're getting mentally weaker. So develop the muscle, develop that brain power to push through when things kind of suck. Let them go! This is a time in your life that you can no longer continue to grieve about who walked away, who abandoned you, who forsook you, who left you, who walked away. You've got to stand up and recognize that God doesn't need anything that you lost to bless you. God will always use what you've got left. Life is 10% of what happened to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You've got to stop tripping Every time something happened to you, like it's the end of the world, it ain't. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done, do it. Not only do you want to stop being scared and do that thing that you don't know if you can do or not, but you know what you got to do is you got to start taking the steps. Because when you're 18 years old, your life seems like it's gonna last forever. And I will tell you right now, it's not gonna last forever. And those years go by like a summer's day. And that time's gone. You cannot get it back. You cannot get time back. So those dreams that you have, those goals that you have, don't put them off another second. Not one second. Get on them and go out and make them happen starting right now. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and finished and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. Just change your mindset. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. He not, you gotta hear what I'm telling you. If y'all gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. I'm about to get everything I got, and I will know if I don't get another gig, it won't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't put everything on the field. Suppose this day is all that's left. Suppose wherever you come from, you won't have time to return there and say bye bye and. Uh, how will you use your time? You have this attitude, that kind of earnestness, a lot of things will change, and so much for better. Nothing to carry over, no account for tomorrow, everything today. It's possible, what is possible? What is possible? The majority says if you go through heartbreak, if you're on your knees because your life is full, rush out as quickly as possible. What I've discovered is stay in as long as possible because difficulty is growth in wolf's clothing. Every problem that we have can be looked at two ways. We can look at it as a difficulty to get rid of, or we can look at it as a message from our true selves. Any problem comes along, not in order to make our lives miserable, but actually in, make, in order to make our life less miserable. And the suffering that it imposes is an attempt to wake us up. And if we wake up, we'll have a reason to be grateful. 
I'll get to it tomorrow. I'm like, who promised you that? Right? I'll get to it a month from now. I'm like, who promised you that? We live our lives and we feel as if we're promised something. You think about how many people woke up this morning thinking like, man, everything is going to be great and life changed, right? One day you wake up on top of the world. Next day you wake up, the world is on top of you. How many of you in the last six months has had an idea that you did not act on that you wish you would have? You get hungry by finding something that's new. I believe that all of us are born unique. You got to find out what is it that turns you on, what resonates with you. Some of you are not transitioning because you're okay with the life you have. And I'm telling you, I, I, when I walk out, I want to be an example of you can start from wherever and get to wherever you want to get to. That's what I'm asking you to do. What fuels you? The reason why you're so lazy is not because you don't have the ability. You're so lazy because your dream's so small. When you break, you have the opportunity to show the world, the whole world, what you are really made of. So if you break, the fight isn't over. In fact, if you break, the fight is just beginning. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, covered, and you're covered in blood and sweat and dirt and filth as you rise above what you were, and as you take the form of, of who you are supposed to be, you will see that in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. When you go for a walk with someone, something happens. Either you adjust to their pace or they adjust to your pace. Whose pace have you adjusted to? There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their job. They keep getting up to do it. Why? Because it's simple, it's easy, it's routine, it's guaranteed. Do me a huge favor, guys. Take full advantage of this opportunity and make your dreams become a reality. Find your vision and follow it. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you just drift around. You're not going to be happy. This is why it is so important to have that vision. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You've got to be possessed with the dream.